Hey everybody, Tom here for Walt Disney Planet. I am visiting Disney's Old Key West Resort. Now this is a Disney Vacation Club Resort, but if you're not a Disney Vacation Club member, you can still stay here. A little bit pricey for the non-club members, but it is what it is. This is a massive size resort, therefore it has internal bus services, as well as bus services to the four major theme parks. And after 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. rather, it has bus service to Disney Springs and back. Now this vacation club opened up in 1991, so about 25 years ago. It has 761 rooms spread out over uh, a pretty good sized land. Now this is turn of the century Key West, Key West, Florida. So gonna go check this place out, a lot of amenities. Really, really cool big water park area inside, or main pool area, I should say, not water park. But anyway, this is a pretty good resort here. I'm gonna go check it out now. Let's go. All right, main check in area. This is your drop off. If you're coming on a bus or a cab, this is the first area you're gonna come to for your check in before you get to go to your room. You see all the different stuff on the walls. Plus the chandeliers. And of course you're gonna have music playing all those Key West style songs. All right, main registration check-in. Also have the main concierge services where you get tickets, dining reservations, recreation, all the tickets to the parks. Dinner reservations, show reservations. Also really nice seating area. TV for the kids. Now just across from check-in, they got Conch Flash General Store. Cargo and provisions. Now this is the resort's main gift shop. So like most Disney gift shops, they have all of the Disney goodness you need or didn't know you needed. Of course, you got the sun care products and Disney towels. They also have your sunglasses and these cool little water mist spray bottles with the fan attached to it. Now they have all sorts of different shirts and hats. Both Disney themed and Old Key West resort themed. Got a nice plethora of different hats. All the Disney themed stuff, backpacks. All up on the rafters, they got all the different theming of Key West, fishing, nautical stuff. Get a nice tea set, picture frames, dishes, mugs and cups. Also got a little toy section with Disney themed Monopoly and Candyland. Now the sign did say provisions, so this would be your provisions. So if you're staying at the resort, and you need some cereal or things to make sandwiches. They also have your snacks section, all sorts of good treats. They got your potato chips and your all important donuts and bread. And the most important stuff, you got the lollipops. You got your refrigerated stuff, you get some pizzas and your waffles and milk and eggs. There's your lunch meat to go with the bread. And then you got your beverage cooler. Both adult beverages on the right hand side and assorted soft drinks. Now I see this in any of my tour videos, so if you are familiar with my videos, you know that I am a pin collector. I collect a ride and attraction pins as well as the resort pins. So I just found my newest pin to add to my collection. This would be it, the old Key West Resort pin. And they got Olivia's Cafe right next door. 
to the Conflats General Store. It's a sit down table service. Got various different meal options. You see a lot of Disney Vacation Club members have left photographs on the frames all around the perimeter. The ladies also has an outdoor seating area covered. All right, we're right near the main pool. So this is Girling Suitcase, Lifations and Spirits. This is the adult bar area, adult drinks, and also goods food to go. This is a snack bar style. This is the Electric Eel Arcade. Now I did say small arcade. So as you can see, this is a very small arcade. Now they have bike rentals. Also they got the tandem bikes. This is their main pool area. They also have a sandcastle themed slide. And as you can see, there is a hidden Mickey. Got some playful dolphins here. No, this is actually a non swimming area, so guests cannot enter the water here. This is just for aesthetics only. See, in keeping with the sandcastle theme around the lounge chairs. We got more giant sandcastle stuff, big sail or pail and bucket. Do you have a small playground area right next to the pool? As well as nice hammocks and a place to play beach volleyball. You also have the tennis courts. I also have the exercise room, various types of exercise equipment inside. I will not be going any further as I do not want to interfere with people's workout routine. Got a nice running trail, two and a half mile trail all the way around the majority of the resort. You can see where the red lines are. Disney's Old Key West Resort has 64 buildings situated on different roads unlike other resorts on Disney property that have the different buildings and clusters as named areas these are situated on different streets so or roads rather so I'm gonna go check out a few of them all right so this is building 62 this is happened to be the first one that I got to there are three-story buildings as I said, there were 64 of them around the property. All one, two, and three bedroom rentals. Each of the vacation homes is available to purchase for the entire year. You can also be a non-Disney Vacation Club member and still stay here. You got building 64. As far as I know, so far all the buildings have the same type of architecture and similar color schemes, all nestled in between native Florida vegetation, plenty of palm trees. And evidently the numbers are not in any certain order. Building 15 is right next to building 64. Okay, so what I've observed, it's like building 18. We're next door building 19. And some of the colors change slightly between the buildings. In addition to the main pool, there are three additional quiet pools scattered around the property. This is just one of them. All right, at check-in you will be issued your building number and room number. They will give you a map with the street name that your building is located on. 
Intermingle between the buildings is also a golf course. One of several golf courses around Disney World property. A lot of the buildings are situated in little clusters or little inlets, if you want to call it. Like these in this round circular area. This is the village pool. This is one of the quiet pools and it is the biggest of the three quiet pools. This also has the turtle shack, which is open seasonally. Smaller amount of food available at this location. They also have a little small playground for the kids. Several covered seating areas with grills so you can do your own cooking out. This is something you don't see very often. The Disney transport buses getting towed back to the repair shop. These buses are used continuously all throughout the day, 365 days a year. Well, I'm sure not every bus is used constantly, but you know, they get a lot of wear and tear. Therefore, occasionally they do break down. This is a Turtle Pond bus stop. So as stated earlier, there is internal bus services as well as all of the four major theme parks and Disney Springs. Each of the bus stops, you can catch any of those four Disney parks. And I believe after 4 p.m. or 5 p.m., you can catch a bus to Disney Springs. Now all these buses go through the entire resort, so you don't have to be at one specific bus stop to get a, a ride to one of the resort areas. So if you want to go to Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom, you can be at any of the bus stops. Now there's five areas. Miller's Road, North Cove Road, Peninsula Road, Old Turtle Pond Road, and South Point Road. Periodically buildings close for routine maintenance or renovations. As you can see building 30 right here is blocked off for some renovations. Plenty of signage around property so you do not get lost. Saying bye bye to the broken bus. Mr. Bus is going back to the repair shop. And right in back of the main building for check-in, they have the DVC ferry. Now this ferry takes you to Disney Springs See the canal runs all along. This is how the boat transport gets people to Disney Springs and back. So the boat transport. All right, taking the ferry, the water ferry. Going from Old Key West to Disney Springs. Trip, so you guys just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. It's a nice alternative to the buses.
nice additional look of the property. tour there's no reason to show you each of the 64 buildings because they're all relatively look the same might differ slightly with the colors but for the most part everything looks exactly the same all around the property now this resort opened in 1991 so that's over 25 years just about so it is the oldest resort for vacation club members I hope you guys enjoyed my tour. Please check out my other tour videos of the different Dizzy resorts around property, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.